And just to kind of break it down how it works, if you imagine holding um, a glass of water that's not quite full and then you start to move your hand side to side so the water's sloshing up on each side until finally you move your hand hard enough that the water sloshes over. Well, your, your cycle kind of works that way. Um, your body tries to build up. It needs to build up certain levels of estrogen in order to ovulate. Now, eating enough fat um, and, and, and not stressing can, can help to push those levels higher and higher and higher. Um, but for a certain reason, if you're not able to, um, let's say you're, you're busy, you're training, um, you're traveling, there's a lot of stress on your body, you're not eating enough fat, it's like waves, they're trying to build up and up and up, but you're not able to crest that hill in order to ovulate. Mm -hmm. um, so that can be, um, so I guess it's, it's fair to kind of define it in two separate categories, amenorrhea due to lack of ovulation, and then uh, simple amenorrhea meaning the loss of the period, which can happen for runners who, um, who still ovulate, but they simply, they don't get a period. So ovulation is really the thing that you need to be aware of. You and I do believe that we are now kind of in a resurgence um, of women pushing the idea that this needs to be something that um, that we discuss because not only is it as natural to our bodies as breathing, but it's also um, something that is it's like the building block of life. It's it's um, I don't I don't think it's gross at all. I think it's it's fascinating and it should be talked about. Rather than focusing on a number that you want to see on the scale, what is it that you want your body to do for you? I want my body to be able to run fast. That's what I want. You know? So find out what it is you want your body to do um, and focus more on that than on the, the number on the scale.